Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another The Rift With Me. I loved filming the last one. It was so much fun. This is episode two. But I'm not sure whether or not to carry on the series because I'm meant to be on a shopping ban at the moment. So I don't know if I'm going to be going thrifting anytime soon. But this might be the last one for a while. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll be addicted to shopping again next week but for now i'm trying not to buy stuff so yeah enjoy this while you can i cannot wait to show you the stuff i got it's so much better than the first episode i got so much good stuff so wait for the haul at the end also this video is actually in collaboration with urban outfitters and i'm going to be showing you some new bits from their bdg range so i'm wearing this really cute green top and it says bdg jeans on the front I'm, I'm pretty sure my friend mia has this when she was wearing it i was like oh my god that looks so cute so i picked this out and then i paired it with their famous tech pants like oh my god guys if you want to get these you need to get these right this second like if you wait any more than five seconds they'll probably be gone because they keep going out of stock and i managed to get my hands on the white pair and i'm literally in love i'm going to show you guys a full shot of them so you can see how nicely they fit they have little toggles so you can adjust to make them the perfect size and little button pockets and then a zip at the they also have toggles on the bottom of them so you can tighten them so you could roll them up make them into more of a jogger fit or you could have them as like a straight leg but they're so nice they're really light and airy so they're going to be absolutely perfect for summer i feel like these on holiday like in the evening with a little top maybe with some little heels would look so cute they currently have them in stock in this really nice blue color, which is gonna be so good for summer. Yeah, for today I paired it with this green BDD jumper and then a matching green bag. I wasn't sure about mixing the greens, but honestly I feel like it looks really cute. Like, I like it a lot. This is a little corduroy green bag. I'll link everything down below for you guys so you can shop it. Thank you so much Urban for sponsoring this. I am just in love with you as I always have been. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> So we're at Portobello now, we found this really nice jewellery stand, I just got some jewellery, I also found a really cute coat for only £30, this guy was selling it for, so I got that as well, um, but we just got loads of jewellery for my party, huh? I was like, well, I was like, oh I've got a 19, no, old fashioned Hollywood, what's it called, old Hollywood party, she can say anything. Yeah, she's not, okay. she's not very chatty. Yeah. I found this coat that's really cute, it's like denim with pink fur on it. I think I'm gonna get it, it's really, really fun. They're all judging me in the back for vlogging. We moved to the main part of the market and this is normally where I find the most stuff just because there's so many stalls and there's a lot of Depop sellers there which have really, really good stuff. So I was looking through this one stand and nothing was really standing out for me. I liked this set, but it just was not me. It was kind of giving me Violet from Willy Wonka. I just was not feeling it. This skirt, however, was so cute. I love the big silver buckle on it. I was just really feeling it the coats were just mm, nothing special tegan got a really cute black afghan with like green fur it was really really cool and this miss 60 top was a really nice color but i didn't get it just because it wasn't special when i find something i want it to be so different and something that's going to really elevate my wardrobe but nothing here really did that for me liv found this blue skirt but she didn't get it and then i tried the black skirt against me and i was like oh my god no it's too big so i let liv have it i can't remember if she got it or not honestly liv did you get it i got it and it doesn't fit me oh <laughs> it doesn't fit her it's like it's so close to being good but it's like something about it is like is just off. I think maybe it's the colour. I like these buckles though. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It's like a denim set. Tegan's found a cute little jacket. I say get it, but I'm a bad influence, so she's already got one jacket, but that's okay. I literally just say yes to anything, but I'm just a yes. Say yes. I'm a yes girl. <laughs> A couple weeks later, I went to the finds pop up and the last one I went to in Shoreditch was so good. I found so many great pieces that I still wear to this day, but this one just wasn't as good. I think it's because I went really late and it was the end of the weekend that they'd been doing it and there just wasn't much left. Like this coat was cute, but when I find an Afghan, I want it to be that like real nice fur that doesn't look like it's been worn a million times. So I was just going through, nothing was catching my eye. I looked at the coats and I thought I found a baby fat coat, but I realized that it wasn't. It was a brand called Lee, which I do recognize, but I'm not really sure what the brand is. It's still really cute. 
but I don't really need a puffer. This was interesting. I liked the feathers on it. And this I thought was gonna be long, but it was cropped. If it was long, I definitely would have gotten this. It's so cool. I love the wash of it, but I'm just not here for like a denim crop jacket. It's kind of giving me like year eight. These were really cute and I liked the crochet, but I had kind of similar stuff in my wardrobe, so I didn't grab any of this stuff. Then it came to trying on. I got this top, but I didn't get this one. And this was the coat. This is Emily doing it up on me. She was trying to help me decide. This was like Maddie from Euphoria, but it just wasn't the nicest fit on me. And this I liked, but then I was like, would my grandpa wear this? Probably. This was really cute. I loved the low back, but it just didn't fit me nice around the boobs. And this was so cute, but it was a little bit itchy. I was so sad about this, but. It's such nice colors, it's so summery. This is me trying it on with the coat just to give a little feel. I love doing this to kind of see how it would look in an outfit, it really helps me decide. And then I found a similar brown afghan and I was deciding between the two. And this one wasn't as fluffy on the inside, it was a little bit longer and it didn't have fluff on the sleeves. So I chose the other one, this is the one I chose. I thought it was really cute and unique and I've never seen anyone with it. And I went to Vintage Paradise. This was the most recent and they let us look through their new stock they just had coming in. I found the best stuff ever, guys. You are gonna wanna stick around for the haul at the end because the summer stuff I got was just immaculate. So I was looking through the jeans. I did pick out some, but I don't think I filmed them um, on the rack, but I can show you guys when I try them on right at the end of the video They have so much denim there. If you guys need jeans, definitely check it out It's 220 Brick Lane. Liv found these cowboy boots and she manifested these before she was like I want to find some dark cowboy boots and she did I was looking through at the summer tops and then I spotted these guest heels and I was like They look like my size and they are adorable. So I tried them on and I got those they are just so cute They have uh, some really great accessories there as well I was checking out the other jeans these were the brown and beige ones I don't think I picked up any of these though just because I do have some similar in my wardrobe This skirt was adorable and those are the shoes this top was so cute and I tried on those cargos Here are some outfits that we put together. This skirt was really really nice and summery I didn't get this top just because it's a weird shape, but this skirt was very unique So I picked that up this little dungaree dress was just so different. I got this one I can't wait to wear this now it's getting warmer this top was so cool it was a mesh green and blue a little wrap top this skirt was too long and this miss 60 skirt was also too long but look how cute it looks folded i'm definitely gonna cut it because i love it that length these leopard moschino jeans were amazing and this dress was not it this i got because i need little basic tees like that i really enjoyed this and look what we found naomi they still have some bits in stock if you guys want to check it out so I'm back and I'm going to be doing the haul. I feel like this is the best bit of the video because you can see which bits I actually brought home with me and decided to add to my wardrobe. So this was filmed over like the course of actually quite a while. So I didn't go absolutely crazy. Like this was really spread out. So I'm just going to get into the haul and show you guys what I got. Start off with the stuff I got from the market and then the finds pop up. So I know I got other stuff, but I don't know where I put it because I went to those a while ago and my wardrobe is just in every single room in the house. Like I have some here, some in my room, some in Liv's room, like it's all over the place. But I'm gonna show you the main things that I got. So from the finds pop up, I found this coat, which I am literally obsessed with. It's perfect. I've never seen anyone with this. Like I don't think I'd ever see a repeat of this because I do have a very big obsession with Afghan coats. And I mean, this one is just so, so cute. And they really kind of gave me a voucher. So I thought I'll spend my voucher on a really nice coat that I'm gonna add to my Afghan collection, but yeah, this is from the brand MNG. And then from Notting Hill, I got this coat, which this needs to be really, <laughs> this kind of needs to be sorted out because the fur goes funny on this. But it's this long denim trench with this purple fur. And it is like a DIY job because I do need to like cut the fur a little bit because what is it doing? It literally looks like an art project in your seven, but <laughs> I'll show you it because it's so cute. Oh my God, I can't get this on <laughs> over this jumper. So when the fur is not funny, it looks so so cute like i want this coat so much i absolutely love it i love the purple fur and i love i mean i'd love the long denim trench anyway but the fur just really adds adds a special touch 
So moving on to Vintage Paradise, I got a lot and I'm gonna try and quickly show you. I won't try it on because that will just take years and I feel like this video is already gonna be really long. So the first thing I got is this orange mesh top, which you wear off the shoulder. So cute, perfect for summer. I'm just obsessed with it. And then I got these cargo looking jeans. These are so flattering and they fit me really, really nicely. They have cool tags on them and I just love the slouchy fit. These are so nice. They have a really good jean selection there. And then I got this little dress, which is so cute. Look at it. I'm obsessed. I love this brand. It looks so cute. I love the little details throughout. It's like a little pinafore dress and I feel like this Layered with like a long sleeve top underneath will look really nice in summer. Then I got this leopard skirt with blue flowers on it. This is so pretty and it fit me perfectly around the waist. Whenever I find something vintage that fits me perfectly, it makes me more inclined to get it because I'm like, this just doesn't even need to be altered. Like it's perfect. It was made for me. And yeah, it's so cute. I love the blue flowers with the leopard. I feel like IMG did something like that before and it looked really, really cute. Next, I got these leopard trousers from Moschino. They're so nice. I love them. They're a little bit big for me around the waist, but actually I wore them the other day and I tied a little string at the back and they looked so nice. I almost like it when jeans are a tiny bit bigger and then you pull them in because then it gives that like hip elevation on the side i don't know i really like these and i'm really introducing leopard back into my wardrobe but i went off it a while because i just did it so much to the point where it was just like i had my bed sheets for leopard everything in my room was leopard i mean i've still got my leopard mirror but like <laughs> literally everything was leopard and i was like okay it's getting a little bit too much and then i kind of got sick of it and now i'm just like obsessed with it again i got this long denim skirt which is so cute i like it a little bit folded over i feel like that looks really nice and kind of goes with the asymmetrical triangle down the bottom am i speaking too fast i'm more i'm speaking really fast but i'm like i don't want to bore you guys um then i got this little black skirt which i wore out the other day it is perfect it's so cute and it's almost this like velvety corduroy material i don't know if you guys can see on the camera but it's really the perfect little black skirt and then i oh wait this is not from vintage paradise but i mean i'll show you this anyway i got sent this the other day it's really cute like a little white Cardi, I wore it out with some cowboy boots and a pink skirt and it was very summery. This is a little blue cowl neck once again. You can tell it has silver detailing on it, which I just gravitated towards. And it has an open back with some strings crossing over. This fit really nice and like tight on the waist, but then the cowl neck sat really nicely. This is kind of like a statement piece that I wasn't sure. It was quite out of my comfort zone, but I just love pink and orange. Like, I feel like it's such a nice color combination. And I feel like this on holiday over a bikini will look so cool. Like in Croatia last year, I wore one, I've got hair in my mouth. I wore one kind of similar on the beach over my bikini. It was like a white one with beads and like little tassels. And I felt really cool in it. So hoping that is a vibe and doesn't look really bad when I actually like put it in action. Another Miss 60 piece, I got this little skirt. This is a classic. I've seen this quite a few times. It has the big circle buckle here. I feel like if you guys want to get this, you definitely find it on Depop because I've seen quite a few people with it. And I really like this. It was a tiny bit long for me in length just because I don't like long skirts. I like them really, really mini. So I think I might get it shortened about that much and then it will sit just like a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, I love Miss 60. That's one of my favorite things to thrift. I just love finding it. From a Depop seller called Nothing Personal and they have such cute stuff. They got me, oh my God, I want to show you the cowboy boots because they're right here. They also gave me these white cowboy boots, which are just insane. Going on to shoes from Vintage Paradise, I got these guest heels and apparently they were in the shop for ages because they're quite small. I think there are three. So no one was buying them. And I was like, I am a three. I want them. I've just got three more things left. So the next thing is this skirt with this plaid detailing. It has these little frills here. And I wore this in a reel the other day, folded over once again. And look how cute it looks with like the plaid showing when you fold it over. I just these two items like unintentionally match. And I feel like that's so cute. So these trousers Liv tried on and she didn't get them. And last minute I was like, wait, I want to buy them. They're so cute. So I ended up buying these. The rest of the stuff was so kindly gifted. Like they honestly treat us like family they're so nice there like if you guys ever want to go check out vintage paradise it's on brick lane it's 220 brick lane we did our naomi pop up there and we're definitely gonna be working with them so much in the future because they're just the best people ever i love them so yeah these trousers are so cute they're like straight leg very nice fit the last thing is this coral top with like these layers it has little beads on it it's so like disney channel like year 2000s 
it's so cute but yeah that's everything that i got in this episode of thrift with me i really hope you guys enjoyed it and once again make sure to check out urban outfitters if you want to shop the outfit that i'm wearing right now it is absolutely perfect so if you guys want to get it i'll leave the link for it in the description box and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell and follow me on my instagram and my tiktok and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>